Hi, I'm Valerie from American Honda. In this video, I'll show you how to calibrate an indirect tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS, using the Display Audio, or DA. It's a simple process that's really easy to do. An indirect TPMS doesn't use tire pressure sensors mounted in the tires. Instead, it uses the vehicle's wheel speed sensors to monitor and compare tire characteristics while driving. If it determines that one or more tires are significantly underinflated, it turns on the low tire pressure TPMS indicator to let you know. Because it relies on those wheel speed sensors, the TPMS must be calibrated or it won't work like it should. Calibration just means the TPMS learns the tire characteristics while driving. Calibration must be done anytime you adjust the pressures in one or more tires, rotate the tires, or replace one or more tires. If you don't do it, the low tire pressure TPMS indicator comes on and stays on. Now, before beginning this calibration, there are a few conditions that must be met. The vehicle must be completely stopped with the transmission in neutral, if it has manual transmission, or park if it has CVT. All four tires must be the same type and size and set to the recommended cold inflation pressures on the driver's door jam label. And finally, the ignition must be turned to on. Okay, let's get started. First, I select Home, Settings, then Vehicle. This takes me to the Vehicle Settings screen. Next, I select TPMS Calibration, which gives me the choice of Cancel or Calibrate. I select Calibrate. I then see a Calibration Started message. And that's all there is to it. The TPMS automatically finishes calibration after about 30 minutes of accumulated driving going 30 to 65 miles per hour. I've shown you the basic steps in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about this, please refer to the owner's manual. I'm Valerie, and thanks for watching.